Introduction Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most intriguing events that took place at Niagara Falls back in 1969. We will discuss why scientists decided to drain the falls and what they discovered during their research. So, let's dive into this fascinating topic. Background Niagara Falls is a well-known tourist attraction situated between the United States and Canada. The falls are composed of three different waterfalls, including the Horseshoe Falls, American Falls, and Bridal Veil vale Falls. The Niagara River supplies water to these waterfalls, and it is a vital source of hydroelectric power for both the US and Canada. However, the falls were in danger due to erosion and other natural phenomena. Therefore, scientists had to take action to study the falls' geological history and understand the impact of human intervention on this natural wonder. The Draining of Niagara Falls In 1969, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers decided to conduct a study on Niagara Falls by draining the Horseshoe Falls. The goal of this study was to evaluate the falls' geological composition, to check the extent of the erosion and the damage caused by human intervention. The study would also provide information about the rate of water flow, and the possibility of the falls drying up. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers installed a temporary dam upstream of the falls to divert water from the Horseshoe Falls. The water was then diverted to the American Falls, where the flow rate was reduced. Finally, the remaining water was channeled through tunnels to generate hydroelectric power. The process took several months, and it was a significant engineering feat. The Discoveries during the draining of the Horseshoe Falls, scientists made several fascinating discoveries. Firstly, they found out that the falls' geological composition was much older than previously thought. The rocks at the bottom of the falls were found to be over 400 million years old. This was surprising because it was thought that the falls were only 12,000 years old. The scientists also discovered that the falls had eroded significantly in the past, and the rate of erosion was faster than previously estimated. Secondly, the scientists discovered large amounts of debris at the bottom of the falls, including old coins, human remains, and discarded tools. These discoveries helped researchers better understand the history of the falls and the impact of human activity on this natural wonder. The coins were found to date back to the early 1900s when tourists used to throw coins into the falls for good luck. The human remains were thought to be from a man who had committed suicide by jumping into the falls in the 1800s. The discarded tools were from workers who had worked on the falls construction in the 1800s. Thirdly, the scientists discovered a layer of bedrock at the bottom of the falls, this layer was found to be more resistant to erosion than the rocks above it. This layer was thought to have played a crucial role in the falls' formation and stability. Finally, the scientists discovered that the rate of water flow had decreased due to erosion and human intervention. This reduction in water flow was significant because it could lead to the falls drying up in the future. Impact of the study the study had a significant impact on the conservation efforts of Niagara Falls. The findings helped scientists understand the extent of damage caused by human intervention and how it had affected the natural balance of the falls. This knowledge allowed scientists to take appropriate action to conserve the falls and ensure that they remain a natural wonder for generations to come. One of the most significant impacts of the study was the establishment of the Niagara River Control Works. The works were constructed in 1954 and were designed to control the water flow of the Niagara River. The control works allowed engineers to manage the water levels of the river and prevent the falls from drying up. The works have been instrumental in conserving the falls and ensuring that they remain a significant source of hydroelectric power for both the US and Canada. 
The study also led to a greater understanding of the importance of conservation efforts and the need for responsible tourism. The discoveries made during the study helped to raise awareness of the impact of human activity on the environment and the importance of preserving natural wonders like Niagara Falls. The findings were also used to inform policy decisions related to conservation efforts and tourism management. Conclusion In conclusion, the draining of Niagara Falls in 1969 was a significant event that led to several fascinating discoveries. The study provided valuable insights into the geological history of the falls, the impact of human activity on the environment, and the importance of conservation efforts. The discoveries made during the study have been instrumental in informing policy decisions related to the conservation of the falls and responsible tourism. As a result, Niagara Falls remains one of the most iconic natural wonders in the world, attracting millions of tourists every year. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you learned something new about the history of Niagara Falls. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one.